Hey everybody, it's Scott from Filmora Effects. If you ever wanted to make a really, really awesome YouTube outro or end screen, but you've been struggling, you've been trying to search all over the internet, looking for some free tools to help you, well guys, everything you need is right here inside of Filmora, and I'm going to show you a couple different ways to make that happen. This is the latest version of Filmora 11, and there is a new category on the left here under Media called Preset Templates. There are 402 templates that can help you with all kinds of stuff, but today we're going to focus right here on YouTube end screens, and there are 57 available. These range from food to general end screens, to gaming, to sports, uh, just about everything in between. So let's just pick one at random. We're going to pick YouTube end screen six. And this is what it looks like. Excellent for music videos or music reviews or something of that nature. In order to use these end screens, You're going to need to have a pretty clear timeline. Now you can do what I'm doing. You can just skip a little space there and bring it down and it'll fill in. But it won't attach to the end of something. So you need to give it a little space if you're already working on something. Then you can join it up later. Now as you can see, they've titled some of the information here as, as to what you're supposed to do. Replace your photo. Replace your video replace your video. So what you do is you press and you hold down the alt key when you drag your files down and it will automatically, I like to say, put it right in there and make it the correct length. Let's try one. Hold the alt key, click and hold the left mouse button and drag and drop into where it says replace your photo. Now you see the little yellow folder? It means we're about to replace something, and it'll automatically scale it and cut the clip or extend the clip. So now, when we're coming across, we've got the lady here. Now, let's take care of these uh, videos, these two videos. And for that, I've also got some other files. We're just going to um, just use anything that has movement in it for this example. I'm going to press and hold the Alt key. I'm going to click on this file this clip and hold the left mouse button and I'm going to drop it right in. You see the yellow folder? If you see that yellow folder underneath, you know you're doing it right. Go ahead and drop it. Now you notice something else just popped up for me. Trim the replaced clip. Uh, in this case, it's not necessary, but I can go in there and manipulate the clip inside of this if I desire. Let's get one more move, something that moves. Just got a bunch of these downloaded. Let's just find one. Uh, so there's a, an airplane taking off. So let's take him. Alt. Click. Hold. Drag. Drop. Now you may have noticed that the airport airplane scene was not quite as long as the other scene. Can you drag it? No, because it's a fixed length. So you may, in this situation, need to adjust your entire in screen by cutting everything right there. I would probably go find a better image, one that was a little longer. It's pretty important to choose a video clip that is the length of your in screen or longer and you can get that information simply by hovering over top and it tells you right at the bottom there duration is eight seconds. So when we go up here to find a clip uh, you want to find one that's about eight seconds or more. So let's see if we can't do so. This one is uh, 27 seconds, so that'll work real nice for us. So again, Alt, left click, hold, drag, drop, and it'll automatically put it in there for you. You can also go up to the um, the clip editor here. So if you want something more towards the last part of that 27 seconds, so basically you can replace it, trim it out, do what you want to do. But for our purposes, for demonstration purposes, we're going to stick with that and we're going to leave the music. So we've just turned a music end screen into a different kind of end screen using our own footage. We've got some driving and we've got some swimming. 
Now, how do you mess with all this stuff? Well, it's pretty easy. Everything is here for you. All you need to do is basically double click on the word like and change it. So if you don't want the word like, you can say um, watch. If you want, you can say over here, get notified. Whatever you guys want to put in there. Okay. You can even change thanks for watching if you want. Thanks for watching me. That's how you use a YouTube end screen template. Now, Filmora offers other ways to do this as well. Let's go over another one. So for that, we're just going to slide everything down and move the playhead and we'll start one right here. The titles on the left side of the screen, scroll down to end screen. There are 103 end screens that are pre-built in here for you. These are called blanks, uh, meaning the elements are not in there yet. There is no music. It's just simply a quick end screen. How long is this end screen? It is seven seconds long. Can you stretch it out? Yes, you can. Because Now, you have to be careful when you stretch some of these out because a lot of these pre-made end screens over here will fade out. Let's see if this one does. So yeah, we're fading out. We can actually go a little longer before the fade out if we wanted to. Some of them fade out pretty quickly. So if you're trying to get a 30 second end screen, uh, you may not be able to do it using some of these. Please note the symbol right here. Okay, it means that this is not a free end screen. It did not, it's not included in your basic package. We can click on the word free and sort right here, and you can see that there aren't any. So these end screens are from film stocks that I've either downloaded or uh, purchased or, or got them. So if you go back up to all, you can see them. Uh, I'm not trying to sell you guys anything. You do what you want to do. Um, I make a lot of videos, so uh, having this extra bit of film stocks is <laughs> quite valuable to me. Um, and it maybe it will be for you too, but if not, you can always go back over here to media, choose YouTube end screen under templates, and there are 57 of them that are free. They come with Filmora 11. You see there's no symbols next to anything. Okay, for this section under titles, end screen, 103 end screens, you can do a couple different things here. You can add your own elements from YouTube. YouTube has an end screen editor and in it you would simply upload a video with this end screen on it Then you would go to your tools inside of YouTube and you would click add element and you would put this says check out new video so you would choose recent video and you'd put it in the square and down here you would pick uh, your subscribe image element and you would put that right there and then you before you upload it, of course, you would set all of these names. Because once you get it, once you get it uploaded to YouTube, you cannot further edit the text or anything in here. But you can place elements inside these boxes, and you just simply click your element, drag it around, and drop it right in. It's very simple to do. So that is how you can make some crazy end screens. Now, be advised that if you're going to add elements from YouTube. YouTube will automatically pick the last 20 seconds of your video for the end screen, the last 20 seconds of your video. You can adjust that in the YouTube end screen editor because some of these are not 20 seconds. This is 8 seconds, 8.9 seconds is what I've got this one drug out to. So you would actually have to go into your YouTube end screen editor and when you first pop in your element, it's going to default to 20 seconds across. You probably don't want that. So you simply drag your element and you bring the start time over to match this one. Now that you know that YouTube, by default, makes your end screens 20 seconds long, unless you manipulate them, you can do other things here too with Filmora. So I made this end screen using Filmora and I simply took a black sample color, shrink that in so you can see it, 
And you can see right there that I made my duration exactly 20 seconds. So when I add this, now I put all that text in there. You know, I, I started with a black screen. And I put the text. I had that run up. I put a little element there. Put a little element there. And then in YouTube, I placed my next video element here. I placed the pre another video here. And I placed my subscribe picture and button here and that's how I did that's how I made my own uh, and you can too just go to media go to sample media go to sample color pick the color you want your YouTube in screen to be uh, I've got a gray one here let's pick that let's right click on that let's go to duration let's double click that 5 and turn it to a 20 now we have a 20 second gray box put whatever text titles you want in there and then manipulate your elements in the YouTube editor to position them wherever you want so I already got this one downloaded so let's put that in there and we'll stretch that out for the whole 20 seconds I don't want it there I want it here I'm gonna double click it I'm gonna say thanks for watching I'm going to shrink it down, I'm going to slide it around until I get it where I want it. There we go. Maybe move it up a little bit. And then when I get over to YouTube, I'm going to place a, a, my um, subscribe button maybe down here in the corner. Maybe I'll put my most recent video right over here on the side. And that's it, guys. That's your end screen. Now, once you get that 20-second thing down and start making these uh, you'll find ways that you can make it shorter if you want um, all you got to do is go back to duration let's say you don't want a 20 second inch screen you want a 10 second inch screen make it 10 seconds shrink this text down 10 seconds and just remember that when you get over to YouTube in your editor you will have to slide the start time of the elements over or they'll start, or, or the elements will pop up in your end of your video before your end screen starts. All right, guys, I don't want to leave you hanging with all that information and not actually show it to you. So I did a quick uh, two or three minute video for you, and I stuck one of those Filmora end screens, title end screens, at the end of it, just so I can demonstrate what the heck I'm talking about. Your YouTube studio may look different than mine, but just figure out where to click on your end screen. Okay, guys, so I've got an end screen that's less than 20 seconds over here. It's about uh, 10 seconds or so long. You can scroll this little timeline around, and there it is. This is the one that I uploaded. It's very short, so I'm just going to move this out of the way, and we're just going to watch what YouTube does by itself. So let's add an element, and uh, we know we're going to need the subscribe button, so we'll just choose that one. Now, don't, don't look up here. We don't need to look at that right now. What we need to look at is right here. So you can see that it has backed it up to have 20 seconds of this button. That's just what it defaults to. But my end screen is less than 20 seconds. So what do I do? How do I fix that? Because if I don't fix it, that's what's going to happen. The subscribe button is going to come up in the video 10 seconds before my end screen. So here's all you got to do, guys. Figure out where you want your subscribe button or whatever it else minute is. Where do you want it to start? Go to the left side of subscribe and slide it over. So match it up. That's how you do it. Okay? Now, let's take it and position it in the circle. I can make that a little bigger if I like, but that's, that's fine for right now. So there it is. That's how you that's how you use these elements. And if you have a shorter end screen time, that's how you fix it. Let's add another element. So this time I'm going to use a uh, um, a video, and I'm going to choose most recent upload, which is the default. I'm going to take it and slide it down in that box somewhere, and you can see that once again, YouTube has set it to start way back here. So now people are watching my little video, and all of a sudden that box comes up. Okay, so we need to fix that. So let's line it up with the other one. 
click it, grab it, drag it, drop it, and now it's fixed. When you save this, you won't see any of that. This is just to help you line things up. None of this is going to be seen. What you'll see is that. Okay, and then you would save that information. And when people watch your in-screen, they'll see that.